Hi, it's Chris Pontius here, the uh, original creator of the Flat Earth Models. And I thought I'd do a quick video to explain all the various features of my models and what they do. Uh, first off, this is a tiger eye maple frame that's done with a dark stained finish. And it's got a hand rub lacquer, satin lacquer finish on it. This one is a, a larger version that has the um, satin black uh, lacquer frame. Uh, this is done with walnut without a stain on it. Um, here's one that's done with a red crackle lacquer. And I can also put many different base coats on here besides red. I've done them in white and silver. Uh, this one is a this has a black stain on the frame, which is really nice. It's very dark, but it's uh, different. It's not brown like the others. And this is one showing a red mahogany finish. Um, and this, like then again, I, I love this tiger eye maple frame because it's uh, got such a pretty grain to it. And as, especially as it's holographic and as they, the domes rotate, it really accents, you can really see it. And then, this is the got a tiger eye maple frame around the, the big one right here. The uh, sizes, these are all basically 12 inch models, but the actual base is 13 and a half inches across here. But this one would be like 12 inches because the way the base flares out, this one's only about 12 inches. But they all have the same, this is what they call the small models. Then I jump up to the next size, which is, a, this is a 21 inch. And this one's not finished yet. I don't have the sun and moon mounted in it yet, but I have time for the shoot. The next thing is to talk about the domes. Now I have like five different styles of domes. Uh, the, the simplest one, uh, obviously, is just a plain one with no stars in it. It's just, you know, your basic dome. And I don't usually have the plain ones rotating because there's no point in that. This one just has the stars. And this is an actual star pattern that was... It's, uh, was laser etched. We found this online and and had this one um, etched into the dome before it's formed. And then we had some that have they're labeled for educational purposes. You can read which stars are which because there's real tiny letters right here that you can see and read what they are. And then there's other styles. I don't. This one here shows the the grouping of the stars, and they have dotted lines and lines with the different clusters here available. So anyway, there's five different uh, styles. And let's see, what else is there? Um, this is the newest ones that, that rotate. And it holds it really slowly. The sun and moon uh, are the new 6.0 versions where, um, well, I'll show you the original one here where I had a center mast and then I polished the brass and I came up with a center mast off the middle and came straight out with the arms. But I came up with a new design and just came off with an angle off the center and it, it, you don't have the center mast sticking up. And also I went ahead and painted them flat black because I think they don't accent as much. Uh, some of them look nicer with them polished. This, this one here is the, the very first one I did with a Gleason's map and um, it, these, these look nice with them polished on here. But, and also, uh, the, some of these I put an RGB uh, color ring around the base and the controls are right here, the buttons you can push uh, to change the different colors or do different patterns with it. it uh, I, I had them on a remote at the first, but the problem is the remotes, um, <laughs> different, patterns here the remotes conflict with the, trying to control the sun and moon come with uh, with the remote I don't have one here was, um, that you could dim them and do different special effects if you want to but I found it be easier just to have this on a button switch here that you can control it pick it up and change the color on the base ring and whatever you like and it just kind of adds a nice little touch to it when it's sitting there kind of has a little glowing color around the base looks pretty cool and other than that, uh, there's one other model here. Um, Jeff, could you hand me that 
one over here. Let me see. I wanted to show you with the older model available. Um, my assistant is photographing. Uh, this is the first, this was actually number eight um, of the first ones I made with the original cake dome. And um, I think Mark Sargent had the first one and it had a knob on top of it. And it looked kind of silly, so I cut the knobs off. Before I learned how to form my own domes, I bought these cake domes, but they look so crude because these are injection molded in there. They're kind of wavy. And then it, the, this has the old T5 LEDs and the prints are, you know, this has a, a, a redwood uh, burl base around it. And, but uh, I, I don't make them like this anymore because I think the lower profile domes look a lot better and they're much smoother and it's just the only way to go. So, uh, and then the latest one I did was this, um, this big one right here, and I call this Hidden Lands Beyond, showing the other continents outside of our, all the models have just this world here. And when I found this map, I had to do a big one, and it actually has the sun and moon going around the opposite direction. Ours go around clockwise, and these go around counterclockwise. And this is a hand-painted map with a, a special snow texture I developed and a real nice custom maple frame. Um, this one's not quite finished yet because I have a backlight and it backwashes the wall with an RGB. So and it has a chase light, does all kinds of cool things. Um, that's about it. I don't know what else to uh, say. Um, they're very labor intensive. They take a long time to make and... Um, I wish I could make them faster, but uh, it's just, and I have some of these for sale soon or on my website and flatearthmodels.com. Thank you for watching. And hold, and hold, and hold.